close, really close to playing his first game for the season this week. But sadly, one of those toughened calf muscles still had a twinge. After almost a year of waiting to make a comeback after a knee operation, North officials say that Shimmer still hasn't given up hope of playing again this season. Couldn't they do with his leadership right now, though? I've heard of many things a club might use to entice a player to join them, but I like Essendon's new touch. Recovering from a knee operation in Adelaide, the Bombers' prize 1986 draft choice, Andrew Underwood, was surprised to get a posy of flowers from Essendon. It was, of course, followed up by a visit from a solicitor and then an offer on the phone. But Underwood is still remaining uncommitted. The Bombers would give another bunch of geraniums if they could get him to say yes. Bears general manager Shane O'Sullivan will be stopping off on the way home from Perth to talk to draft men Chris McDermott and Andrew Jarman in Adelaide. He regards this as a mammoth assignment. McDermott especially is tied to the South Australian retention scheme while Jarman has shown a liking to that South Australian lifestyle. The Sydney Swans have narrowed the field down to a short list of eight for their chief executive job but they would much rather re-sign their champion utility Jared Healy to a new contract. Healy has decided to wait until the end of the year before he decides whether to prolong his career in New South Wales. And for all football fans who get to the MCG on Sunday, they'll get a chance to remember the famous number five Guernsey of Hawthorne, the one that was put in mothballs after the death of the great Peter Crimmins in the Premiership year of 76. It will remain in cold storage just in case one of his two sons decides to claim it. One of Peter's sons, Ben, will be playing on his dad's home turf for Assumption College in the Herald Shield on Sunday. He's fair just like a crimmins, plays Ruck Rover and tackles just as hard. Go for it, Ben, and keep on punching, mate.